You may have noticed some rumblings on the interwebs about overexposure, and I did mention that in my first vlog. Now, back in November, I had I've been cooped up for two years like the rest of y'all, and I decided to go to work, <laughs> go into the office. The office was open, so we went in to Toronto to just take a walk around and just get out of the house. I decided to take the Polaroid now plus with me and take some walk around during lunch. I did manage to get some good shots, but I got some shots in particular black and white that were completely overexposed or washed out in some cases. But I would suggest in order to avoid overexposure on a bright sunny day is set EV to darker, which is half EV and leave it for seven seconds so that the EV setting is saved and then shoot with your back to the sun. I took the Now Plus to Niagara Falls to try out the tripod mode with some of the Christmas lights and I found that the tripod mode, it works, the meter is pretty accurate with it. Um, I also tried it in manual mode as well and you get roughly the same exposure as well. So it's easy to use. The, the apps are easy to use and you can get some nice effects with it. As a creative tool, the Bluetooth capabilities allows you to be quite creative with this camera. I have actually used quite a few of the features so far. I've experimented with double exposure, the tripod mode, portrait and light painting. For the light painting mode, personally, I have I did use both the manual and light painting, and I found that with manual, it's a little bit easier to control. The settings I've used for that is F13, um, the 30 second exposure. Would I recommend this camera, to be honest with you? Um, the Bluetooth capabilities makes this camera fun to play with. So if you like the, the tripod modes, the light painting modes, the manual modes, double exposure modes, it can be fun to play with. Um, for me, I like the idea of being able to take a Polaroid camera out and not have to use my app to control it to be able to just take a picture outside in sunny daylight with in sun in sunlight without worrying that the picture is going to be very overexposed, like very where it's not even usable. In Canada, Polaroid film costs roughly $30 Canadian a pack, which is about three bucks a shot. To lose three or four shots out of an eight shot pack hurts. So me personally, I think my adventure with the whole eye tight cameras are kind of over as a result and I think I will probably stick with my bonafide which is the mint SLR SX70X I think I'm gonna stick with this I'm not saying yes everybody run out and get this camera it costs about a thousand bucks not cheap but I find that I can take this camera out side, put it on just a 600 mode and get usable shots. So I prefer it, but that's me. I'm not recommending everybody go out again. It's, it's a costly camera. Okay. But if you're looking for eye type, I've heard good things about the one step plus if you're looking for bluetooth capabilities or you might go for one of the older models like the impulse i also have one of those impulse af and i've consistently taken the, that out and even on a bright day with the flash i get usable shots so i'm looking at the cost benefit analysis and i think that for me i type 
cameras are not for me. I do like the film though, and I am going to figure out how to get iType film into a 600 cartridge so I can use it in my Mint or the Impulse. But that's that's been my, my mileage. But your mileage may vary. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm kind of new to this, so... Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Thank you.